6,300 square foot home at Reserve at Westgate. We're up above Washington, Utah on this gloomy afternoon, just looking incredible. This property has six bedrooms, five full bath and two half baths, and it is 6,378 square feet. It has two stories and room to park six cars. Let's go check it out. I should have brought a jacket. Well. <laughs> Two dollar socks. Not if there are any good socks for this powder bath. Take a shot of this living area. We don't want to. We don't want to screw up the flow, but we kind of want to capture this before it got too busy. Thank you. <laughs> yes. 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 It gets better. <laughs> backyard it just disappears into the desert. That is sweet. Is that a frame? It's another frame TV. That seems to be the builder's choice this year. Yeah. You guys measuring rooms? It has an ensuite. You see the sign on the toilet? That was pretty clever. <laughs> Let's go check out the butler pantry. This is sweet. This is like a pass through butler pantry. built-ins. Should we pass through the living room that way again? I think if we go that way, we'll finish the first floor first. Okay. I love all the built-ins. So this is the owner suite. This is where the magic happens. We have these sliding doors that open up to the pool. 
And look at the size of the suite. It's a proper size. There's another slider here that opens almost all the way. And there's no shortage of rear privacy. I think a lot of this land is owned by the Bureau of Land Management, therefore we'll never no, have rear neighbors. Behind. Look at this really cool wood floor detail, tile to wood to tile. There's views like literally through every window in this home. Look at that under lighting in the shower. That's crazy. I've been I've been drawn to all the under lighting, especially in the showers. It's kind of a new touch that we haven't seen before. Water closet. And then massive master dressing. I wonder if there's a steamer inside here. Nope, just a shelf. Let's go explore the guest wing. This is like a laundry room area. Laundry that opens to the garage. Two of the garages. Have a pass through laundry. We'll see more of that in just a minute. Let's go navigate to the second story. I guess there's still plenty of first floor. Cool bath. I love the floor to ceiling tile. All kinds of understairs storage. This gas bath opens up to the pool. You guys are totally fine. <laughs> it's every every year. Usually we do this company. Many people you could fit into one bath. <laughs> That's why we do it. Usually try to do it during the week. We've done it uh, during the weekends before, and it was just always madness. Especially like the very first weekend, everybody. But I feel like this year, I don't know, is, have you guys done Parade of Homes before? Um, I'm, I'm a real estate agent. I work for, oh, that's awesome. It's a little further north. Don't mind the snow. That's true. That's true. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping that 
there will be still some opportunity to sell soon. We're in, a, in the process of building a couple of spec homes. And I hope you guys are doing that as well. Have you guys been around since? The garage doors and windows are nearly impossible to get right now and super expensive. I'll build some. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, good luck to you guys with your build. Thank you. another guest suite. Every bedroom has a, a slider in this house, which is awesome. When you live in Southern Utah, a big key of your experience is having these indoor, outdoor spaces. Especially here, like you have this endless scenery that just goes forever. Concrete floors in this room. This is really well executed. Could be a risky move too because one thing that's for certain about concrete is a little crack. Dad joke number two. No shelf lighting in this one though. Now we're gonna look for shelf lighting. Everyone. I know, that's all we care about now. Yeah. Go check out upstairs. Watch your stuff. These stairs are really nicely done with a combination of granite and solid wood. The art piece is kind of cool. And these views just last forever. Pick your choice of mountains. You got red, combination of grays and blues. It's literally 360 degrees. Even the little windows up above there, you can see the silhouette of some mountains. Things happen. Nice little built-in with a bar that matches. The chest set. Hey, Tammy. more bedrooms up here. Trying to find the speakers. speakers. It's a little Sono speaker right there. Oh, I was about to say. It's incredible just... for such a little Sono speaker. I thought they had like Full in house. Yeah, that's what it sounded Spanish. like. It's impressive. Well, the thing about the same thing.
<laughs> oh, you're good. Do you get capture the lights oh, in that I didn't wall? Get the lights. I got the fan, I got the look over there, got the bathroom. The wall is a nice touch. The art piece kind of messes with your depth perception. Oh yeah, we film a little bit of the garage too. Yeah. I'm on it. It's a really good sized garage. So it's a one bay. Or a boat bay. Or boat bay, or tank bay, or whatever you wanted to be bay. Folks, we absolutely loved all of the views, the neighborhood, the serenity, the, the overall feel of this property. Really liked the interior design and a number of other features, but what's more important to me is what do you think about this? Drop us your opinion in the comments below. What did you love, what did you hate about this house? Let us know how you feel about it. And if if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to smash the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it so you don't miss any of our future videos. We'll see you in the next one.